Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. We have a multiplied by a multiplied by a plus a equal to 10. Right? So from here, this is going to give us a to the power of 3 plus a to be equal to 10, right? Now, the next thing is bringing 10 to the left. So we have a to the power of 3 plus a minus 10 to be equal to 0. And then I can equally break 10 into 2 because this cannot be factorized without breaking any of them. So I'll have a to the power of 3 plus a 10 minus 10 is um, 8 plus 2 and this is equal to 0. Now open this bracket and have a to the power 3 plus a minus 8 minus 2 to be equal to 0. Now the next thing is to group it. This 8 can be written to have a number raised to the power 3. So I'm going to have a to the power 3 minus 8 together. Then I have a minus 2 together. And this is equal to 0. Now from here we have a to the power of 3 minus 3. Okay, minus 2 to the power of 3. Because 8 is 2 to the power 3. Then plus a minus 2 equal to 0. Do not forget that our intention is to make sure we have the same power here. And here again to have the same power. And that's what we have done. Now, if you have a... Okay, let me use x and y now. If you have x to the power 3 minus y to the power of 3. This will give um, x minus y and then multiply by x to the power 2 plus x y plus y squared. So this is what you will have and because of this I'm going to express this in this form. So a now is x. So I'm going to have a minus 2 because what um, y is 2 then in the second I will have a squared then plus 2 a because x is um a and and y is 2 so we're going to have 2a then plus a and um, y squared will now be 2 squared close this then plus in the other, we have um, a minus 2, and this is equal to 0. Now, the next thing is this, a minus 2. Then in the second, we have a squared plus 2a plus 4. Then plus, here we can even have this in bracket and have a minus 2, which will be equal to 0. Okay, so that from here, by looking at what we have here, we have something in common, right? So a minus 2 will be out as a common factor. Then here I'll have a squared plus 2a plus 4. This is a. And then I'll close this. Then plus here, we're going to have just 1 then close this and equate to zero now to continue <clears throat> we have a minus two then in the second we have a squared plus two a plus this and this together we have five and then this is equal to zero and at this point you can apply zero product rule i want to pick this expression first a minus 2 equated to 0. This means that a is equal to 0 
plus 2. And then A will be equal to 2. We can call this our A1. Remember, if you have to bring out only the real solution, you can stop here. But then, since we have to bring out complete solution, we will pick this um, expression and equate it to 0. And it is A squared plus 2A plus 5 equal to 0. Let's use formula to deal with this. The formula is A equal to minus B plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. And then our A from the formula is, um, okay, I should have used other letters, but it's fine, right? Now our A from the formula is going to be coefficient of this, which is 1. Our B is 2 and C is constant, right? So the A we are looking for now is equal to, okay, we have minus B is going to be minus 2 plus or minus. Then B squared becomes 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times 5. What is 5? 5 is C. Okay, so we have 5 over here. Then whatever that we have will be divided by 2 times 1. Now, the A we are looking for is minus 2 plus or minus. We have 4 minus 20 and this is over 2. So that if we continue, A will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of negative 16 and this will be over 2. Now some persons will be tempted to say 2 will cancel this but no, we can just do that because A here will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus then square root of negative 16 will give us 4i. Okay, this i is imaginary because of the negative there. Now this will now be over 2. Now we can let 2 divide both numerators, right? 2 can go here one time. 2, the same 2 will go here. And it is 2 times, right? Okay, so we're going to have a to be equal to minus 1 plus or minus then we have 2i yes a is equal to minus 1 plus or minus 2i remember this has already been cancelled out right so from here let's get the complete solution we have a1 to be equal to 2 that's what we got before then our a2 will now be equal to what we have here minus 1 plus 2i this is our a2 then our a3 is also gotten from here and it's minus 1 minus 2i so these are the three solutions to the equation thank you for watching